Hey everybody, how's it going? Superfan here, and welcome back to our legendary Techless campaign. And let's see, what do we got going on here? Oh man, look at all the uh, Last Defenders armies. Man, they, they're going to declare war on us. This is, this is going to be not good. We have to think about how we're going to stop them. Um, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if this army is going to be all that great against Last Defenders, uh, especially this stack right here. But on the bright side, like if we were to attack this, and get a lot of money out of that. So we do have that potentially going for us if we end up going down that route with them. Okay, so what do we got here? Can these guys, can these guys um, assault units? They can assault units. 15% casualties too. Ooh. Okay. So we could potentially like assault units and cause some casualties and then lay siege and they won't be able to replenish. Um, in order to do that, we got to leave this settlement undefended and these guys might pop through the other way. And we have Teclas right over here. Let's see. Uh, these guys gain levels. Okay, what do we got here? You know, uh, he's got two more points. And putting them both in here, uh, weapon strength plus 10% when fighting, where is it? Greenskin, Skaven, no Lizardmen? What? What? Uh, no Lizardmen? That's no good. I thought, I thought they included Lizardmen in that. Hmm. I don't like that. Uh, I don't think the speed's going to be all that great. Uh, maybe 20% weapon strength over here would be good. We have two points. Two points. So we could get up to 12% weapon strength, with, which would be how much? 372. Five would be 390, so it would be adding 18. So we'd be adding a little bit more over 36. So another 18 would be like 400 and something. Or an extra five melee defense. You know, I think the weapon strength is going to be a little bit better. Sing their praises. And let's go ahead and do weapon strength with him too. Because neither one of these guys really seems to be taking much damage. And let's look at what we can give these guys. Um, to make them better ag against engagements with lizard men. Because that's coming. We can give them nothing. We have nothing to give them. Who's got this? Others sing their praises. Uh, immune to attrition. So is that why Teclis's army takes no attrition? But I thought in a few instances when we moved him, it did. Okay. No, I want that. I think this guy's actually already pretty good, huh? I'm just I'm just worried about the the incoming lizard men. They are going to attack us. Causes fear and terror. Um that could be good. Because then when he's fighting the big monsters, he won't get scared. He won't have the leadership penalties. Oh, but I don't know. And what's this do? This gives a constant regeneration effect. This is why we can't heal this guy. There's a chance of the unit instantly dying. Ugh. What? Wait, whoa, what's going on here? Bound spell, Embers of the Phoenix. Okay, weapon and missile damage. Yeah. And then there's a passive ability, the Book of the Phoenix. Chance of the unit instantly dying. It's disabled if the hit points are greater than 10%. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this book thing. I don't want that anymore. Why do we even have that on him? Yeah. Yeah. 
22% magic resistance. This could be good, actually. Let's do the other trickster shard. And if we get him into a big pile of units and then we cast the flaming sword of rune on missile units, uh, him and Teclas could potentially cause a lot of damage. Now, which lord did we put that on? Not Sulafane. Lorum. Okay, Lorum has got the magic re reduction uh, thingy. Okay. Now, what do we do with these guys? Yeah. We can steal technology. Whoop de do. What are we even researching? Something for the dragons, right? Yeah. Oh, man, these lizards. They worry me. They worry me a lot. And we don't have anything that we can build. Okay. So what we're going to do... We're going to take Teclas. We're going to wipe out these two armies. We're going to start with him. Back. We're going to auto-resolve. We lost a little bit from the archer unit. How much money do we get? We got 3,200. Release the captives. And we'll go ahead. It is their time. Um. Enslave them. We'll take the three percent. That's fine. I foresaw this victory. And now we'll kill these Skaven. Another auto resolve. How much do we get for this one? I'm really keeping an eye on how much we get each, each battle from the money, because we really need that money. Another 3%. Not much, but a tiny amount. And this guy, Wingmaker, okay. Probably should have got Immortality. Yes. Okay. And what can these guys do to a settlement? They can damage the walls. What do you do? Okay, we destroyed a couple factions. <sighs> Let's see. I want to continue replenishing, and I want to set an ambush. So we'll do that. Now this, boy, I don't know about this. What spells does this person have? This is for enemies in the air. Lord, fiery convocation. Yeah. Not that spectacular for assaulting this. And then we have a few bolt throwers. The sword masters and the nobles. But we don't really have healing. Is the big problem. We want the healing. Huh. Uh, we might be able to do it. What do they have? No, I will not shame my clan. These guys, let's look at their melee stats. Uh, 31, 31, 40, 34. Protector of Elf One. So the Swordmasters are a lot better. And then 115 armor, 91 leadership. I will not disgrace my ancestors. So they're better all the way around. It's just how much damage are we going to take from the Corlers? Listening. And what we really want is this is regeneration. Um, it's the icon for that. All right, well, it's in here somewhere. Extends cast range, so we can only cast this on one unit at a time, which makes me a lot less excited about it. This is allies in range. And this increases speed. How far can this person move? Can they get all the way over here? Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Where is this uh
I'm trying to figure out what the sphere of influence is because we might be able to lay siege with Bella Shane, and this mage might have the movement range to get all the way into the reinforcing army. And then that would give us, of course, regroup. And isn't there one in here that replenishes hit points of combatants? Yeah. The Earth Blood. Defender of truth. And we have that. And every time we cast, we get five seconds of replenishment, too. Okay, I think we're going to go for this. Send Louis. Attack. I will need the doesn't look possible, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, now how far can this person move? You can move to right here. Okay, now is that reinforcement range? It's not. It's not reinforcement range. Your instructions. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop this person in here. Ta-da! Scouting. Actually, you know what? We might be able to um We march on. That should do it. Ta-da! Okay. So, what does this look like? Oh, boy. Can we do this? Can we do this? It's the map. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of towers. The Asa oh, boy. The Asa follow strength. And these guys cannot go on the walls. Uh, they're in chariots, so that's kind of important to remember. They're all in chariots. So the only ones that can get up on the walls are the sword masters. And they're going to be fighting all of this. Oh, boy. And then we have two lords on dragons that can land and attack and whatnot. And they're going to take a lot of um, missile fire. <sighs> My prowess is needed. The Asa need me. Boy, I don't know. I don't know about this fight. Um, let's try. Let's see what happens here. I think we can do it. It we might be a little bit casualty heavy though. Okay, uh, we're not going to gamble that. Okay, so let's see. We're going to put we're going to put some archers right here. And we'll put our bolt throwers like so. And then we're going to deploy everything kind of... Um, what? I thought I put two archers. thought I put two archers right there. Okay. Yeah, oh, man, I don't know. Don't know about this. Okay, we can let these guys take some of the initial fire. Of course our reinforcements will come on over there. That's perfect. All right, here we go. Let's knock down that tower. That tower. Right there, that tower. Okay. And then we can move all this stuff kind of uh, forward. Where, where can they fire at? Up to about uh, here. Okay, and we want to bring these guys over here. Now, at least they did split their forces up. 
uh, to compensate for our reinforcements. Now we want to get these towers down, and then I think we just want to poke a hole in the wall. If we can. Okay, let's see what happens here. Doing a little bit of damage to Bell Shane, but not much. And we'll put these, uh, these chariots over here. And we'll get Varan in here. And we have this spell too, which 14, man, 14's a lot. And get these uh, towers down. Come on, bolt throwers, get them down. All right. Who's shooting over here? Okay. All right, we got one tower down, and the next tower is going down pretty quick. And I think we have enough ammo to punch a hole in the walls here. Okay, good. Now we're taking a lot less damage. Let's uh, cruise back just a wee bit. Okay, the walls are going down quickly. How are they still able to shoot us? We got too much range. All right, there. I'll shut them down. Okay, let's speed this up until this wall goes down. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. My uh, my little one had to drop a deuce. She needs help wiping her butt still. Uh, okay, <laughs> so. Uh, hopefully we get these walls down. And we can make a nice little hole here and then we'll move through with uh, some of our heroes, maybe our sword masters. I'm not sure who will come through first. And we got a nice um, juicy gun line and some long beards with great weapons and other long beards back here. That is going to be a problem. But we're going to get these uh, walls down. Okay. And then we're going to turn off fire at will so that we still have a little bit of um, ammunition afterwards and they don't fire at everything. Okay. Now this leads me to one of the things I really hate about sieges when you knock down the walls is that it leaves this little middle section and then your units don't have like line of sight through here. I, I absolutely hate that. Okay, what are they shooting at? No, but they can hit us up here no problem, huh? That's fine. Uh, let's see. Do we want to come in with the dragons? And melt these guys? Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Maybe they won't take a whole bunch of damage. Okay, let's see here. Oh, man. They're doing way too much damage to this guy. Come on, dragons. Get on the ground here. That's a one-time use. I don't want to use that yet. We'll use this, though. Melee defense. Okay. And we should be able to get these guys to uh, break. Okay. Where are they shooting at? Shooting at the dragons, of course. No, no. Wrong one. Okay, we're going to do the four. We'll do the weaker version. Okay, and what's shooting at us? It looks like it's a grudge thrower. Bolt thrower, maybe. Okay, so we got one unit really weakened. Let's get on this other unit of uh, quarrelers here. Okay. And now let's fly back. Okay, and let's come back to here. With all of our magic users. Okay, so we took a fair amount of damage getting that done. We'll go ahead and we'll pop that on all of our mages. Okay, come on here. Yeah, 
And they got so much range with their missiles. It's ridiculous. Okay, and then one of these gives missile resistance and its allies in range. It lasts for 24 seconds. And it costs six wins of magic. So, you know, it's kind of nice for making those uh, dangerous approaches. Okay, so let's uh, let's cruise up to here. Okay, and how far can their bolt thrower and other stuff fire? It's not even turned towards us. So we have to get through here, right? This is where we have to get in. Um, missile resistance. The dwellers below. An explosion. Um, I would prefer if all the missile units did not fire at will right now. Although it's kind of nice that they actually have some line of sight in there. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're going to cruise up with our sword masters. And then we got our spears here. What is all this? Oh, these are dead elves. No! Not dead elves. Okay, now. Okay, we're going to keep all the fighting in this area. We just have to figure out how we're going to get, like, up and over here. How are we going to get in here and not take a ton of damage? That's really the, uh, the question. And how much unit health do each of these guys have? Not very much. We can't see how much they have. It won't show us that. Okay, so let's find... Okay, these guys. What's their firing arc look like? It was like right over here. Okay, so we'll... Um, so we'll move our sword masters here. There we go. We'll move these guys here. And we'll get those guys there and get our two lords here. And this is a, this is a lot to fight. And they're going to come in behind us with a ton of stuff very quickly. Let's get these guys in front. I'm just being very careful with this. Because if we do it poorly, it'll go bad very quick. Okay. Let's run up. Okay. And... Okay. So here we go. We're going to drop it on these guys. Right when they get everybody in range. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. There we go. We're going to hit those guys. And then the dragons. Let's see. Or maybe we uh, cruise into the back with the dragons. And drop a couple breath attacks. Okay, let's see what we can do in here. Oh, that was a one-time use, darn. Okay, and we want our, our bigger regroup in here. get on these guys. Now, do they have that little lord down in here anywhere? I don't see him. Okay, we are tearing these guys apart, right? Yeah, no problem here. Okay, these guys are going to get ripped up. Uh, we'll use this. 
Okay, let's uh, cruise in with her and her and her. Come on, you guys, get over here. Okay, we're getting hit by nasty uh, stuff from over there. Let's get in here. Uh, this is a board save, charm shield thingy. Yeah, let's go hit all this stuff. We want to bring everybody over here, right? Whoa, crap. These guys aren't even fighting anything right now. Here so that we can uh, get all that nice juicy uh, replenish. Okay. All right. Now this is the uh, part that really worries me because we got to go knock out this stuff back here, right? Get in there, guys. Get in there. Oh, man, the sword masters are taking so much damage from that grudge thrower. Okay, come on, we gotta crush all this stuff. Get up in the air, dragons. We need you guys up in the air. Can you just go up in the air? Oh man, see, and then look at that. Now we're taking all this damage over here. All right, let's uh, let's push into the back with the sword masters. Just keep everybody kind of moving together and healing as we go. Uh, we got, we can get our dragons back here on these corollers. Okay, I don't know what your guys' problem is, but you all need to be coming this way more. Come on. Get up here, sword masters. Get up here. Okay, let's get the spears in now. Who's this? Better not be a regroup person. Okay. Drop that for our sword masters. Okay, we're gonna keep her back there with them. Okay, can we, uh, come on, let's rip these guys apart. Rip them apart. Rip them apart. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go back this way with these guys. I don't know how these dwarves are not able to kill this one mage over here, but I'm happy for it. Okay, here we go. Get back over in here. All right, let's get the dragons in the air. Get these guys in here. Yeah, she's in here. Okay. All right, the uh, the rock lobber, the grudge thrower. We got to get this thing down. Cannot have that thing firing on us unimpeded like that. It's doing too much damage. Can we get everybody bunched up together? Come on, get over here. Oh, I hope that hits enough of them. Good, it did. There we go. And our dragons. Okay, good. We got that thing is gone. Got rid of the rock lobber. Taking care of these guys. Uh, let's go over here and hit them. Kill the bolt thrower. These are slayers. Let's get 
Let's get up over here. See, we're not taking any more of that nasty missile fire. So we're kind of okay. Are you guys, like, just not attacking? What are you dumbasses doing over here? Okay, here we go. Uh, dragons. Kind of need you guys up in the air. Okay, go hit these guys now. Get out of here. If we can get the dragons back over here, then we'll be um, we'll be okay. Alright. Yeah, we'll drop this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go this way, and we'll get the lore masters going that way. Let's get her going this way. She's gonna ram into these guys here. Get her dragons in the air. go. Um, breath. There you go, your long beards. I'll take care of them. Come on, get over here. Let's get these guys moving. There we go. We're looking good. Uh, really? You guys are back? Okay. Got that for you. And then we will go rip apart uh, Thronged. Thrund. Thrund hold fast. Okay. Shattered. We got no wins of magic, though. Okay, now which is our magic or our dragon? Oh, he's uh, he's breaking. Okay, good. Uh, it's our general. So let's see. Yeah, he's breaking. Where'd he go? Get back here. They're running. They crumbled. It's just some slayers are left. Ah, oh, yes, that's that's glorious. Okay. And let's see, what else do we have? Go kill that guy, please. Okay, we are ripping apart the Slayers. Yeah, we handled this, no problem. Okay, good. Uh, but I want you over here. I'd like you over here too, please. Oh, I was gonna try to cast this, but we <laughs> we have no magic. All right, so whatever. Kill off these slayers real quick. Okay, come on over here. Kill them. Yes. Okay, good. Good, we did good there. And we only took 210 casualties. I don't know who it was from, but knocking down the walls and just charging in with these guys seemed to work out pretty good with all the heroes and stuff. These nobles actually got a lot of kills. So did Bella Shane. Bella Shane is a pretty good lord. Glory to the king! 4,500? And we will loot and occupy. 
because uh, we got to keep our money up. Okay, good. Now we got this province. Now what I want to know is why are we so negative? Where's it all going? Army upkeep, really? We're only getting 2700 from trade. That's really bad. Okay, but anyways, we've got this back. Uh, how many turns? What's the growth look like? Growth looks pretty bad. We've got two population surplus. We're repairing this, and then we can build this right away. We've already got the public order building, which is important. And, okay, we're looking, we're looking okay. So we're going to try to hold on to this for a little bit. Uh, I do like this settlement for the diamonds. And techless... We already um, moved you to there. Okay. No vortex ritual. We got a commandment that we can issue. We need the growth. Or maybe we want reaver patrols. I don't know. It's kind of neat. Uh, this will almost double our growth, so I think we kind of want that for now. And can we recruit any heroes? We can get another lore master and another mage, although we can't really um, afford to use them. And we are on the verge of being able to do some of these rites. All right, so here we go. We'll roll the dice, see what the AI does. Hopefully we're still in a uh, really good position. I think we can get that other settlement from the Spinosotec Dwarves. This is a nice army. Look at this. Wow. I wish we could afford a, a stack like this, but the High Elf units are so expensive. They really are. The, the army upkeep, the supply lines penalty is is absolutely brutal when your units are like three four and five hundred upkeep per turn paying an extra of 40 percent on that is is a lot it adds up to hundreds okay sentinels of zeddy what are they gonna do do not test my patience. ah they went back onto the land deliver your message Oh, you finally want a peace treaty. Who are you at war with? Um, you're at war with some of the elven factions, so no. We don't want to make any deals with you and piss off uh, what should be our future allies. Because we are going to need them. Okay. We're looking good in here. We're going to upgrade this. Um, can he get here in one turn? Oh, he can. This is great. And he's practically healed up too. So, uh, Techless is going to surprise the Sentinels of Zeddy. Peekaboo. Steady hand is needed. Okay, how much money do we get for that? Probably not very much, but I just want to keep an eye on it. 1300 not bad. 7% um, replenishment for that little battle is actually pretty good. Okay, now Teclis. This is going to be our territory in a moment. So we're going to force March up to here. And then Teclis will be replenishing at the end of this turn. Our traditions make us strong. Okay. Your bidding. You dare approach a lord of the Dowie in such a manner? Yeah, you really want peace with us now, don't you? Guardian. Araya. Guess but what? You can't have it. We're gonna come in here and wreck your wreck your face. The Asher follows strength. Okay. Protect our Volt. Now it shall be done. I'll just move normally with her. Oh boy. It's getting worse. 
Uh, let's look at what influence at the... Well, well hold on. Uh, who are they at war with, the last defenders? Nagaron, the Neckark Brotherhood, Warband of the Serpent... Okay, so they're they're like they're pretty friendly with us. They're still trading with us too. We don't want to lose our happy relationship with them. So I'm thinking we can improve the relations at a cost of eleven influence. And I think it'll go up by forty. No, it went up by twenty. Okay, well whatever. Um we kinda need it. We'll we'll uh, we'll be able to use some agent actions and get some more influence back pretty soon. And that's with the nobles. I always forget. Can we get another noble? Yeah, we're at the maximum uh, noble cap. Where do we get the nobles? Uh, you're a bunch of mages. How much do these guys cost in upkeep? Oh, those are white lions. Um, These are the guys where we get the Phoenix Guard. Okay, where do we get the nobles from? What gives us the ability to recruit nobles? I can't remember. I can't remember. Aha, it's the Elven Gardens. So we have one here, and we don't have one in here. So, okay. So up here, if we can, maybe we build the Elven Gardens, and we'll be able to get another noble, which could help us secure more influence faster. But of course, we need to have the money per turn to be able to execute the action. Uh, forget about the siege construction. Alright, so here we go again. Very, It's going to be similar to the last one that we just did. The they don't have nearly as many missile units, so this is actually going to look a lot better for us. Okay. Where's our reinforcements coming on, on this side this time? We will gamble. Can't see crud right now. Okay, put two units of archers in front like we did before. Kind of deploy everything else in the back here. And turn that off. Take the fen mode off of everybody. All right, here we go. Ooh, what are you? You're a little uh, Thane guy? I'll just knock your ass out right now. Okay. These guys are taking down the gate. He'll rip apart that lord. We need to get Varan up here too. And the towers are going down. This guy's losing bad. Yeah. And we want to heal Varan. Nah. We'll wait. Get some missile parry in here. Uh, where this little, where's, where does he think he's going? He's not going anywhere. Get on the iron drakes. And let's, um, no. Where is it? Give ourselves some nice healing up here. And let's see. Give that to Bella Shane. Okay, and 
our nobles are in. Or not. The gate's not destroyed. Okay. Set those guys like so. Turn off fire at will. And when the dragons are finally done ripping all this stuff apart up here, we've got nice blobs that we can uh, hit them with. We also have... That's enemies in range. Okay, let's... um, Who's got the nice vortexes? And let's pop this too. Okay, we got a nice explosion here. Let's see. How do we want to drop these? Okay, let's drop a net. Followed by an explosion. Followed by... A vortex. Oh, little dwarfsies. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Ah. I should have dropped a little bit more back here. But happy with that. And let's see here. The dragons are still okay. Okay, so now we're going to fly our dragons up here. Let's see if we can get them over here. And all of our missile units will turn that fire at will back on. Okay. And they will wreck everything up here on top. I'll hit them. Oh. Melt the dwarves is. Melt the dwarves is. Uh, I only saw one breath attack. There's the other one. They still have that hero over here. No. Okay. And let's go hit the iron drakes again. Gate's not down yet. We're doing okay up top here. Let's see, you're the one that makes uh, people better in combat. And let's see, these guys are still... Uh, I don't know what's going on with the gate. They're not really uh, ripping it apart, are they? Okay, beware the hammers. Beware the hammers. Let's get off the uh, walls again. So we'll uh, cruise over to here. Where are the hammers at? Yeah, let's see what this looks like. Come on, get a nice breath attack. Uh, kind of overshot a bit, but it looks like it did some damage. Yeah, it did some damage, all right. Now we'll hit the thunders. There's this little guy again. And everything up top is getting melted. We got some more iron drakes coming our way. Not worried about them. Okay, one unit died up top. Okay, Iron Drakes are coming up top now. Okay, there. Can we finally go back to hitting the doors? Because everything came on top. All right, let's um, take off with the dragons again. Go on the multi-shot here. And just turn that on. Here come the bolts. Gates are finally down. All 
right. Feeling good. Bella Shane, why don't you go uh, hit these corollers? No, 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 no. I clicked on Bella Shane. Okay. We'll send this dragon back here. Everything up here is just going to get melted. Oh, wow. There we go. And Baron, keep cruising this way. Go. An organ gun, huh? Oh, we need to knock down the organ gun quickly. Boom. You're not in combat anymore? What happened to the stuff you were fighting? Okay, well, we'll just lift you into the air then. And hover you over the middle. My power is yours. The winds rise. Debuff that guy with the helmet discord. Regrowth in here. And there they go, they're shattered. Yay! Okay. Now we'll probably get a few thousand for that battle. And now the downside of owning this settlement is that uh, New World Colonies human faction has the minor settlement, so we're not going to be able to complete this province. It's kind of annoying. Glory to the king. Okay, what'd we get? It, I didn't see any money. It didn't show us anything. It is ours now. We'll loot and occupy. Okay, now, I don't know if we'll ever be able to get over here and, like, take this. So, for now, a peace treaty with these guys would actually be okay. Yeah. So, I'm kind of happy with pushing them to where they are. Really? Okay. No, I want more than that. I want more than that. And I want more than that then. Okay, we'll try 1100. Go on then. Okay. So, we're no longer at war with the Spinosotech Dwarves. Uh, which is good. They're down the one settlement. And is there anybody else we're at war with that we can stop being at war with? Now, do we want to go back over and take the Blood Hall Islands back? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. It's a hard territory to hold on to. Uh, these guys are getting increasingly angry at us. <laughs> increasingly angry. Okay, Teclas is uh, replenishing. They're replenishing. We got a point in here we can spend. We're going to get immortality because I keep forgetting. Okay, now how much are we paying upkeep per turn? So if we were to start a ritual, uh, but if we finish the ritual... We'll have even more diplomatic uh, penalties with the last defenders. I kind of want to wait until we have... Uh, I want to get a little bit more territory. It, it sounds like I'm repeating the same mistakes I, I made earlier in the campaign. But um, I would like to acquire some territory. Let's see. No, oh, man. We need, we need these guys to get over here and... 
take this. Can we get you to join war against those people? Where are you at, humans? Yes. Greetings, stranger. Yes, join war against the Sentinels of Zeddy. What if we pay you? Oh, that's way too much. Eh. I don't like that. See, I would be okay with them occupying uh, this territory. Maybe if we raise it, they'll just come in and occupy it. Maybe if we do that. And then we got Karak Zorn. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We're going to get to go punish Karak Zorn a bit. Okay, we secure influence with the nobles, right? Mm, what do we want? Do we want influence or do we want to kick the crud out of Karak Zorn? And then Blood Hall Coven. What do we do with them? All right. Uh, let's go raise this settlement because if we raise it, then um, the New World Colonies or whatever they are, they might settle it and then we could have trade with them, I believe. I don't think we have trade with them right now. And we could try to take the Blood Hall Coven back and then we could move up and help uh, Lothern fight Nagaron. And get them out of the game. I don't know. Of course, I'd like to. Um, I'd like to get this intercontinent back, sort of. I don't like Carrick Zorn in there. And I am worried about the last defenders. They they're gonna turn on us, I think. Okay, they've confederated. Ah, critical failure. Ready. Okay, so let's see what this looks like over here. I'm pretty sure we can defeat that. In fact, I'm positive of it. Okay. Definitely not. Mm. Can't believe they came back. I can't believe it. Okay, so I think... I think we can go and turn our attention to the... The Karak Zorn Dwarves, the Karak Zorn Faction. This guy's level 40. We've got Immortality. We have everything. I guess we'll do Tempest in case we have to fight some uh, Flying Lizard Men. And... Woundmaker with you. Okay, this is actually a pretty decent force. We're doing okay with it. And what do we have in here? I don't think we need this anymore. We could do the beer mugs. Do we have a public order one? Cast corruption's going down. We're only getting 200 per turn from this settlement. So maybe we just want to turn that off and then... Well, then the taxes don't make sense, do they? Neither does the growth. Maybe we'll switch over to Reaver Patrols. I think Reaver Patrols is good. And then if we need to do a burst of recruitment, we'll switch back. All right, now where's Carrick Zorn? Oh, boy. Command me. Faithful servant. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. I serve the Phoenix King. Setting off. I think we're going to cruise ahead with one of our mages. We'll choose the high mage. Setting forth. Okay. 
And we're gonna um, we're gonna sack our way um, into maybe this area here, and then we'll occupy this, or maybe we'll just sack our way right through. I mean, we could get a lot of money. We need a lot of money. We need a lot of money. Oh yeah, and then we have this, right? Uh, demolish, repair, repair. Okay, let's end our turn. And we got some rituals available now. Oh boy. I feel like we're doing, we're doing okay. I'd like to see Lothern make a little bit more progress up here. I feel like they're they're not doing so hot. I think they captured this territory. I don't think they had that before. Uh, the Necrarch Brotherhood has been destroyed. Oh no, that guy! That guy just got wiped. So Malekith is still going pretty strong up here, right? We're about even with uh, Karak Zorn. Although not for long, we're gonna rip those guys apart. We are gonna rip them apart, make lots of money. All right, Teclas. Can he get all the way to this guy on the outside? Uh, I think he can. I think he can. Okay, let's um. Okay, we're gonna fight this. I think we can uh, win this no problem. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay, what's the map look like? Okay, we're gonna fight this. And we'll see if we can uh, tear these guys apart. And we'll raise this settlement and hopefully the New World Colonies will settle it. Because we're not going to be able to complete the province without going to war to them. So having them settle it and then us being able to get a trade agreement with them is probably better. And this right here, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Yes. All their reinforcements are going to come on right here. And these guys are incredibly strong. And then we can just... Uh, build up a well no we want these guys facing this way and these guys will protect our flank there oh boy this could be fun oh goody gumdrops Teclas just got rocked. Oh, they can't move. Our dragons can't move right now. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Of course, that's all we were able to cast was the nets. go those guys just got uh, evaporated chasing a uh, little techless there you got a nice vortex oh my goodness look at this this is gonna be spectacular here it comes wow look at that oh right in the middle of all those lizards yes these guys not even damaged not even damaged and let's see skin cohort with javel javelins if we cause them to flee this close to the map edge, they'll just uh, flee off the map. Leadership for Teclas. There we go. Block of Doom. Uh, our dragon, though, not doing so good over here, okay? Let's get you up in the air. Wow, how's he losing the combat? Go. We got that now. 
Not a long battle line, but still did some decent damage. Okay, now we got the Soros Warriors with shields are gonna get torn apart. And we're gonna get ourselves positioned to um, hit them with breath attacks. Come the lore masters. We're gonna send Teclas in with them. Yeah, go kill those things. There's their lord. Okay, we'll come back this way with these guys. Because we're going to want to do some healing over here. There we go. Alright. Let's get everybody in here. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. We got time. Okay. Okay, Teclis um, with the big uh, heal on this one. And let's just watch the health go all the way back up to the top on all of these units. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. There we go, end battle. And that's going to get us a lot of money. And look at how much of Bokui's force we, we killed in that one attack. 3,000, or 1,200. Ever victorious. I don't know, 330 is not a whole lot of money. I was hoping we get more than that. Uh, we'll take the unit EXP because we don't really need any of the other stuff. And now we will attack the settlement if we have movement left over, do we? We do. My powers are needed here. And then uh, we'll raise the settlement, and then maybe they'll resettle it with that army, or maybe the New World Colonies will come and settle it. And then we'll have a new trade partner. Go ahead and gamble. Okay. Right, so let's just make all these guys one group. I mean, why not? Okay, here we go. And let's see. Where are the javelins? Javelins. Javelins. Javelins look like they're on the flanks. Yeah, these guys can tickle us with their missiles. And we'll stop everything on that side and then bring the dragons over. Oh, let's see. I think Flock of Dune this time around. Okay, Dragon 1, Dragon 2, get our Swordmasters in, they've locked us in place, let's go get Bokui here, they're using magic, good, good uh, observation there friend, good job. Okay, and we'll land with all of this stuff. Our magic is strong. Okay, their lord's dead. They're shattering.
No, I just want them to stay here. I don't want to attack anything. Okay, there we go. Full health again. So, Techless with these two dragons and the two uh, lore masters. They have very strong force. Uh, as long as they're backed up by all this other stuff, of course. And we're not even using the Flaming Sword of Rune, which increases our damage by a lot. Plunder and pillage it is. Mm. Okay, we're going to sack it this turn. We'll sack it this turn. Of the White Tower. And then we'll come back onto this side of it. Promising charge. Immortality for you. Okay. Uh, where? Where's our stuff? It's over here. I hear the good day. All right, Carrick Zorn, where are you guys at? My path is clear. Eats is a capital, huh? Defender of the Ever Queen. 4,400. I mean, it barely pays for the armies. It doesn't even pay for the armies. Okay, so we'll cruise up with you. Dwellers below, I guess. Okay. Next turn, uh, we'll be attacking Itza. Let's see, where are the big targets? 4,400... 24, 49, none of these are like thousands. This is all kind of pathetic. But I don't know. We're going to sack our way through all of this Go land, ahead. I think. Okay. Not going to complete the vortex. And we'll end our turn. And that'll be the end of this episode. Okay, they still are... Uh, Piddling about with this force? What are they doing with it? Who are they fighting? Scaling? Looks like they're taking it over here. So, Lothern. Lothern. I always call him Lothern. Lothern pretty much has the entire northeast of the campaign map locked down. Oh, it's you. And I think the majority of the real exciting campaign stuff has already happened. Yes, Military Alliance. Um, yeah, okay. We'll accept that. Because they are at war with Carrick Zorn, so now we can get finally give them some uh, targets. Okay, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. And the next one, when we come back, we're going to be probably sacking in here, or maybe we will. Maybe we'll. Um, maybe we'll loot and occupy. I don't know. I kind of would like to get this territory back, um, but at the same time, just sacking our way through um, will get us some good money. And I think we're going to take Teclas, and I think we're going to come back over here, and I think we're going to take back the Dragon Isles. And I, I don't know, Torellosaur is kind of ripping their way through here. They're, they're going to end up taking all this before we can do it. So maybe if we just like cruise through here and sack a bunch, and then at some point we will be at war with the last defenders. And we're going to be relying on our allies, I guess. Um, a lot this campaign. It's not exactly how I wanted it to go, but that's just uh, kind of what we got handed. Um, that Carrick Zorn faction really kind of derailed all of our progress over here, those little putzes. Okay, so thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good afternoon. Take care.